How Deadpool could have really saved the MCU. We come up with one change for mate night when we want to. Sometimes we don't. This time we've got bored of that. <laughs> there were so many. This was a difficult one because there were so many instances where you could have changed something and made it a more coherent and better film. <laughs> If you like this format, please feel free to like and subscribe. Ryan Reynolds, I hope you don't see this because I do, I do like you, but ble bloody hell, man. This one was tough. All right. So in this alternate version, the Time Variance Authority summons Deadpool, but they withhold the crucial detail that his universe is destined to die. Okay, yeah. This is a bizarre choice, I felt, in the film. Deadpool being... A bit of a renegade fella. Loose cannon. Yeah. Don't really know what he's about to do. Quite happy to kill. We've seen he has, yeah, killed on several occasions in a variety of, <laughs> of interesting and disturbing ways. Very innocent TVA members so, who, who just turned up to do their job. Why would you tell him that his universe is about to be pruned when it seems to be unnecessary? I, I guess because they were going to prune it, so... And they wanted to give him the opportunity to leave before they pruned it. Yeah, but I think maybe maybe it even comes down to him asking too many questions and they just blurted it out. Is that, is, do I, am I remembering that correctly? I remember. Whatever happens, surely this should be state secret. <laughs> Top notch. Don't tell this madman who can't die <laughs> that we're about to explode his universe. <laughs> Yeah, so okay, 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 just, yeah, yeah. just for, for clarity in case anyone doesn't know so the TVA kidnaps Deadpool time variance authority is basically taken to this this weird time studio where we look at all the timelines and it's a big old allegory metaphor whatever the fancy word that you remember that I don't for how Marvel Studios is going to mm, absorb the 21st Century Fox characters of Marvel and they're going to can off the universe mm -hmm. so they're doing this because the key, what do they call it? The key person in the universe, Logan. Anchor basically. being. The anchor being is dead. And so Deadpool is needed for the MCU. Another thing that was a bit unexplored, it was more of a joke that they said something to do with him dying for Thor's benefit. Whatever. So my change, they don't bloody tell him because basically the whole plot, he goes wild because they tell him his timeline's about to be snuffed. Who could have seen that coming? Yep. And then he goes mad and we... we we have that whole red herring that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how he saves the MCU. Well, then he goes on this tirade being Marvel Jesus, which is so tongue in cheek around, oh, Marvel's having a bit of a shit time at the moment. Let's bring in Deadpool, the Merc with the mouth, to just tell everyone why he's going to save the day. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, I'm fucking Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> right, okay. So, impact on the storyline. Deadpool's ignorance. So... Deadpool's actions. Without the knowledge that his universe is at risk, Deadpool wouldn't go on a rampage to save it. His usual antics would be in full swing, but the sense of urgency and desperation would be missing. Instead, his focus would be on whatever they sent him out to. So that would be this, this what was it, the sacred timeline. They'd send him out there. His notes are rubbish. So they'd send him out to the sacred timeline. What do you reckon would happen there? Can we think of anything interesting that might have... What, what, like, what was he doing with Thor? Was that to do with the Avengers? Ooh, what we got? We got Thanos is dead, right? So he's not going to be... So does he hop to the timeline which no one cares about, which is current day, where no one actually knows what's going on? Okay. Or maybe we just hop him back to a more interesting point, a bit in the Infinity Saga, where we were all still invested. How could we bring Deadpool into the MCU so that it was interesting. How do we bring Deadpool back to the MCU? I'm just having a look at my notes that I made about I'll set, an hour ago. I'll set you up to go if, you, if you've got a thought because I'm, I'm stuck. Yeah, go on. I don't know, Freddie. What do you think, mate? <laughs> I'm not sure. My answer is, what do you think, audience? Because <laughs> we're Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> a bunch of idiots. Neither of us. We're tired. <laughs> so what we could do is we could have him involved in the snap event. Like, we could actually just get him into the Infinity Saga rather than doing Shang, you know, all of the stuff that no one cares about anymore. Let's actually have him where, you know, he could be with in the place of, um, of Hawkeye. 
and then you actually have a kind <laughs> you have of an interesting character, character, character there. <laughs> an archer instead of Hawkeye, <laughs> who so, is a regular man. <laughs> <laughs> so we could have Deadpool Merc with the mouthing all over the place, getting involved in the the Thanos fight. Um, he could die in Thor's arms. Maybe it's to do with you know when Thor comes back and and he's in the. Um, Infinity War, the first one, where he comes back and he tries to kill Thanos, but he doesn't mm. strike him through the head. Instead, Thanos manages to snap everyone. Now, maybe instead there, before he snaps, Deadpool comes in, saves the day, yep. takes off enough of the gauntlet, or maybe one of the stones somehow, Ooh. so that the snap doesn't work, but he's still able to obliterate Deadpool into smithereens. Oh. Thor swings his hammer slices it, his head off and then Deadpool dies in his arms but he's chatting away blabbering away the whole time and then Endgame never happens Endgame never happens Marvel lose out on several <laughs> billion dollars <laughs> <laughs> well done Fred <laughs> you're not, maybe, run, maybe we you're not that. running our business All right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about Paradox's plan then shall we Paradox <laughs> <laughs> you know what who knows? Maybe um, maybe Thanos was... Was Thanos a bit rubbish? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Thanos. Thanos was just a... Yeah. With Deadpool ignorant of the true plan, Paradox's attempt to destroy Deadpool's timeline might initially seem to go off without a hitch. However, Deadpool is still in the inherent unpredictability mode and can cause unforeseen complications. For example, <laughs> in trying to assist the sacred timeline... Deadpool might inadvertently tamper with the very machine Cassandra uses to enact Paradox's plan. So, here's my thoughts, and this is what the, the crux of the matter. We can, um, we can forget Thor, whatever. I don't like where the MCU has gone. Mm -hmm. It seems to be they had an amazing ending. Infinity War, Endgame. Maybe we don't lean on the Thor dying in his arms. Let's just keep yeah. that as is. But what we could do is we could use Deadpool and we could use the Doomsday device. We could use his inherent machinations yep. and his um, atypical nature yep. to work out a way where Deadpool gets in a situation where he finds out about Paradox's plan. Mm. And then we're kind of back on track again. Yeah, but this time, rather than a shoehorning Wolverine in, why don't we use this opportunity to use the Doomsday device to reverse the timelines so that the one that isn't put to, put to bed, the Fox one, it's actually the Marvel one. Oh my God, let's go. <laughs> Kill it. It's dead, mate. <laughs> Kill it. Dead. Just let the poor thing rest. Then we could have, he actually is Jesus. He is Marvel Jesus Ooh. because everyone wants Marvel. Marvel needs to give up. It needs to give up the ghost at this point. Like, come on. You had the best. Start a whole new thing. You're ruining your own legacy. Mm. And who else to capitalize on that than the most annoying character in comic books? Yes. The guy, the only one who breaks a fourth wall you know, certainly routinely in the universes. I know She-Hulk does it as well, but let's be honest, the only one who we really care about is, <laughs> is Deadpool. Yes. She-Hulk, another property of Marvel, which was rubbish by all accounts. Yes. So yes, that. why don't we use this as an opportunity to do what Paradox is trying, but actually put it right? We need to put down the dying dog that is the Marvel universe. Oh. We need Deadpool to come in Find out about the plan. Maybe he overhears them talking about it. Fuck it. It's bad writing all the way. Let's go, baby. And yes. then he gets hold of the doomsday device. He, he can kill Paradox. Paradox, what? And then he's able to work his magic to actually go down and create a circuit. But this time, it butchers the sacred timeline, reverses his. Fuck it. Deadpool dies as well. Yes. We don't have to watch another one of these films. Yes, yes. And also, kill the wife and kids so that he's father to a murdered son. And also, whatever happens, Maximus's family dies as well. 
Max, just a little spoiler for you. Maximus his family always dies in every timeline. No matter how many timelines. Time Maximus his family dies in a harrowing way. <laughs> so, look, I didn't like this film. <laughs> and you know what? I've decided... I'm struggling with Marvel these days as well. Big and so time. Yeah. Maybe, and genuinely what it could have been used as, it would have been very ballsy, is to just say, look, we've kind of fucked up with this phase four stuff. Post end game, we need a reset. So let's have Deadpool come in. We're going to do no more. We promise no more multiverses. Yes. Multiverses are done. Apart from this one, we will throw all the references to multiverses, but we will actually give it some weight because we will use him to finally terminate the sacred timeline. The sacred timeline. And like it means that. it's still, you know, the event still happened, but now we're done and we can move on to new things. We can have new characters. Yeah. If Deadpool's dead as well, then you can have some underutilized and underexplored characters come yes. up. You can do what they do in comic books so every like generation or two they just yeah. set a reset because also, otherwise there's loads of ones like um they, they haven't used they've just got untapped potential like channing tatum's jamaican french <laughs> man <laughs> yeah gambit would be the only one who survives <laughs> hear me now <laughs> hear me now you rascal <laughs> He's well, a French accent I'm doing <laughs> a channing tatum I'm doing a bad French, French accent sorry yeah I, I really like that. I think that they they tried to they tried to touch on we promise we're done sort of thing, but given how many times they have proved to us that they simply cannot let things die, mm. it's very hard to believe them. Mm. So if Deadpool and Wolverine, there was some finality to their actions, which even Marvel couldn't try and backtrack on. That would feel very refreshing. What an opportunity it would be for them to actually start again, to have all the fun they had originally, all of that drive and ambition that it took to make the magical Infinity Saga. You, and now they are literally just beating the horse. Like every single thing that comes out references the fact that there was this world, catastrophic world ending event. Now they can just say, look, that's done. We completed it, mate. Let's have another crack at this. If you made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in. If we happen to maybe have misunderstood something about the multiverse, <laughs> please let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Thanks so much for listening, guys.